A day before the event, which is the actual day of the Homo War, um, the people around just happened to, you know, sit down. You know, my girl, people, we like to drink. Hello, sis. <laughs> so, yeah, people just sit around and drink, and then people shikba. Shikba means like jam, just, you know, play music and run around and jam, and, you know, that kind of, that kind of vibe. So people are preparing, getting fish, getting, you know, the ingredients needed for the big plate. Some people are even done cooking. So guys, if, you, if you've been hanging around this channel for a while, or even if you're a new person, let me just say this is not a good trait. But I am never ever early to any place, and so here I am, supposed to have gotten to the place by six, seven, and I'm getting there at nine. Right. So let me just give you a very brief summary of what Homowa is and how it's celebrated. Homowa is celebrated by the Ga tribe or ethnic group of Ghana. And the Ga's are usually at the coastal side of um, Accra. Um, the, the festival came about as a result of famine, right? There was a famine and the people could not get food to eat. Alright guys, um, so this is one of the family houses, um, you can just walk in and film, okay, so you have to speak to them and then subsequently do that and it's usually, the quick players are usually prepared in the, in the family houses, so that's where we're gonna go and I'll take you along with me, let's go. And so, as part of custom, we are required to leave some money or something for the elders of the house. Um, it's, going, it's usually used to buy alcohol and to assist their home and all that patient, uh, uh, schnapps and all that. And it is believed that if you don't, I was told, I don't know how true it is, whether it's a lie or not, but I was told that if you don't leave that money and you record something, it will show it. Yeah, I'm scared. <laughs> So, and also to word of bad luck. So yeah. Okay. The okra is used as a binding agent to make the quickly compact. So this is what it feels without it, and this is what it feels with it. Without it, it's dry and scattered. With it, it's more compact. I was asking her how the preparation is done because we had arrived late and then this was the end. Funny. 
Okay. Guys, you see why the elders are messaging. So, um, there was a correction, right? After the corn is milled, you, you mix it with some water, not just sprinkle a little water. You mix it with a little water. And then, thereafter, after two or three days, it's got some water on the surface to, you know, patch it up. Then Tasso is like a, an earthen webble with holes. So these old women thought I was a granddaughter of theirs. <laughs> so weird. Okay. <laughs> And so after spending time there, we proceeded to go into the town and see how the um, celebrations were going on and possibly catch the mantra. So let's go. Come with me. go to the palace okay this is not let me say this uh, disclaimer our palaces look nice 
it's just that this is under construction <laughs> but anyway the priest you see priests the chief had to you know that's the food on the ground for the gods the chief had to um, get prepared relax you know he was being spoken to and so he was preparing to come and start the sprinkling and so that's what all this is about and as you can see there's a lot of people taking videos and whatnot so come with me guys let me introduce you to this guy i don't know his name but i think i like his fit kind of so i'm showing it to you yeah let me zoom in you can see i was looking at him Finally, oh, he's coming. Oh, bye. 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 And so the chief or the busy man, he inspects the food and then um, some drinks are poured into this wooden cup. I don't know what it's called. And he, you know, offers to the gods and prays for long life, prosperity, and thanks the gods for a new year. Because the Gans believe that um, a new year begins in August, which is Homo, the Homo War. It's a new year. And so he's thanking God or the gods for a new year. <laughs> So the Yao they say is an equivalent of Amen as Christians say. It just means let it come to pass or it will be to soon. Is putting his maid in the middle. And then the man J takes the, the, the ladder, scoops a portion of the soup, puts it in that bowl. Very beautifully, very nicely. He picks the biggest fish because the gods deserve to chop, they deserve to eat. The biggest portion here if you look at the fish look, just look at the fish i fish the gods eat fish they don't eat meat they eat fish big fish thick and strong fish from the sea fresh from nature god that is the fish let's go finally so it's time to sprinkle babies the man carries the thing the manche takes a portion Sprinkles. Ba! Sprinkles. Ba! Me, I ran away as, as, as of course. I ran because hats have to play on my butt. <laughs> Let's go! Then finally he he does the rest of the sprinkling on the streets and everywhere else. I feel pity for this man. He's he's so unlucky. Oh look at his car decorated. Oh, oh. Anyway, so let's go. <laughs> so the sprinkling is done to as a way of like, feeding the gods. And so that is the essence of going around the town and sprinkling it up. Let's go! The basic mansion then goes to the clan house. This is the basic clan house. And he goes there to pray for the members of the house, the family house. And the family house in Ghana is usually called We, which is spelled We, but pronounced We. 
So he enters and then he goes there. That is the main house of BC. And then he goes to pray. Let's enter with him. I couldn't take you guys through how the soup is done, but it's a whole thing on its own. Essentially, this is it and the fish. Look at the fish. See the fish. Hey. Jai, 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 jai. So thank you for coming along with me to learn about the Ga festival called Homo, which I'm very proud of. And if you're a Ga, you should be proud to um, enjoy. Don't forget to subscribe, like, and leave a comment. And see you in the next videos, guys. Mm.